Hello snoozies, welcome back to another video. Today I got an amazing strategy to do the long shots for most of the guns in Call of Duty Vanguard. As you may know, Warzone Pacific is right around the corner and it is expected to drop between 8 and 9 December. Depending if you have early access if you own a copy of Call of Duty Vanguard of course. Man, as you can see here I have like 63 long shots at the moment with the DP27. I know this gun is kinda OD, but this strategy, trust me when I tell you that I'm about to show you, it works for most of the guns with the class setup that I'm about to show you at the end of this video. We almost dropped a nuke, damn. I think this currently is the fastest way to get the long shots done. Without further ado y'all, let's get into this video man. So basically the strategy is uh, playing hardcore do dust house, hardcore domination, most of the times you will get domination. Um, you don't play the objective, you just pick your class setup where you want the long shots with, with the gun. And you run straight to the middle and you sh just shoot immediately in the middle on the right side because they spawn on the right side, depending on where you're spawning. Look, I'm, I'm shooting, pre-aiming, without uh, knowing that there's somebody there. Um, as you can see, I use the night vision uh, optic so I can see a little bit clear clearer where the enemies come from. Uh, so I can like pre-fire and pre-aim um, You see I die uh, I die a lot, but it doesn't matter. I just run straight to the middle keep rinse and repeating this uh, Method as you can see I already got like uh, seven long shots or maybe eight. I don't know um, But yeah, this is basically the strategy um, I'm gonna show you the class setup at the end of this video uh, how to set up uh, the guns properly um, some shots won't count as a long shot uh, even though the distance is like uh, really far away with the SMGs I think you can even go a little bit closer um, what I recommend you to do is with this strategy is using this field upgrade so you can also change your line of sights because um, you know you have the middle side you have also this side and also on the other side as well you can put a field upgrade like I don't know what this field upgrade is called I think it's the I don't know uh, but anyways you can also place it at the other side where I'm looking at you see uh, also the perk setup is very important for this method I'm using piercing vision uh, which means you basically get wall hacks if you're shooting you will get like an outlining a red outlining that's the reason why I see uh, the enemies from between the walls and with this night vision optic uh, you can see the enemies very clear and even though they don't know that you're there so here I'm just spraying I'm already on a 10 kill streak not every kill is a long shot of course but most of them are I got the local informants on helping uh, the team out as well <laughs> but hey this is hardcore uh, dust house uh, you have to be prepared to die a lot of times uh, with frag grenades, explosive, as you can see I'm flying all over the place um, so you just have to put yourself through this this like mental pain of uh, constantly dying without even you know it's just everybody just going for explosive kills I don't know it's very easy um, but depending on the lobby that you're in like this is of course a really good lobby uh, most of the lobbies um, are good if the if, if the enemies goes uh, go for long shots. Uh, even if the enemy is rushing, make sure you can set up a team uh, where you can like maybe cover the right side and the left side, or maybe somebody is looking on on the left side. Here I'm clearing the middle. Um, so because I think uh, one of my uh, teammates already are on the left side so wh one thing I highly suggest you to do is also place the, the field upgrade in the middle of the room so sometimes grenades that get thrown or um, they will be deflected as you may know there's no trophy system in this game or whatsoever so basically when uh, when you go for this method you want to protect yourself at all times even some uh, like oh it's the deployable cover the deployable cover doesn't uh cover all of it but as you, as you can see that guy threw uh, a gammon bomb uh, in most cases i will die there but now i have the deployable cover in front of me and i'm just you know spraying i'm already on a 13 kill streak as well um so yeah i'm just shooting as you can see 90 long shots already uh, so that's like uh, hey that's like 30 long shots in uh, i don't know four minutes so that is just basically insane, you know. Um, yesterday I 
try this uh, method with multiple guns. Uh, I finished out the, the LMGs, I got the LMGs diamonds. Um, the Type 11 is currently bugged, so one challenge is still uh, open. So I have to finish that out. But I know what I'm going to do this weekend. I'm just going to play Dust House for the long shots. And uh, I think when you. Uh, so here I'm already on 100 long shots, so I'm done. I'm done with this challenge. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just, just spraying and praying, trying to see if I can go for a nuke. Um, but here I died at 14, uh, 14 kills. So that's another uh, another long shot. So I, I immediately changed uh, like uh, my class setup. So now I will show you the setup. So basically, choose the barrel that helps you with recoil control or damage out, uh, out output. So you will get like extra effective damage range. So the gun will be approved, improve in in uh, long distances. Uh, if you're going for current challenges with long shots, you don't have an option. But if, if you do have an option and you're just going for long shots, just use the barrel that uh, improves the accuracy and the damage range. Always use basically the F8 stabilizer that will help you with the accuracy and the damage range. The car for foregrip for most of the guns, recoil control. Use the mag with, um, uh, with the damage and bullet velocity. Find target grip always. And night vision uh, optic. Um, and usually choose the stock uh, that will help you with the accuracy and recoil control as well uh, if you don't have the gun fully leveled up use surplus if you haven't leveled up uh, use fully loaded for extra ammo the proficiency choose the one that helps you with uh, recoil control and accuracy or maybe damage so that is the setup for most of the guns and if you have specific attachments that you need to use uh, with long shots, just use them and then choose the carbon 4 grip, pine tar for uh, grip, and the F8 stabilizer. Also, for the perks, for the perk setup, um, I highly suggest you to use cold blooded, uh, cold blooded, pier piercing vision, and the third perk you can run overkill uh, with the right shield on your back, or you can all, all also use scavenger or uh, grenades if you want if you would like to throw them but for this strategy i highly suggest you to run a uh, scavenger so when your uh, teammates die, i think they all also drop uh, a little scavenge back so you never run out of ammo um yeah this was uh, basically the video thank you for tuning in and i will see you in the next one